Upon arriving to America in the early 1900s, our great-grandparents established their first Syrian congregation on the Lower East Side. Over time, the Syrian community migrated to Brooklyn. Within the last century, numerous institutions rose up to foster our community's growth. With a strong foundation in place, our community built outposts to support its members across the globe, from Israel to China, from Deal to Miami. More recently, an influx of Syrian community members began the migration back to downtown Manhattan, where they were joined by fellow Sephardim from around the world. From uh, Geneva, Switzerland. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I was born in Baghdad. I'm coming originally from Italy. I was born in uh, Iran. From Costa Rica. Within the Syrian community, the need for higher education is leading parents to send their children to premier colleges downtown, such as NYU, Baruch, and Cardoza Law School. Young couples are spending a few honeymoon years in the city before returning to Brooklyn Ordeal, while some are making downtown Manhattan their permanent home. Mag and David is the only Syrian shul downtown. There is no place uh, like this in anywhere in downtown Manhattan. For us downtown, you know, getting uh, kind of the rich uh, traditions and values and culture that um, that we know was always having to go across the river to Brooklyn. Um, and while that's uh, always there for us, having the proximity of something closer where it's more accessible and very convenient will only engage the downtown community more. With Hashem's help, we continue to expand in numbers. However, without a proper infrastructure in downtown Manhattan for sustaining Syrian community values, Torah learning, and family traditions, the risk of defragmentation is very real. Uh, my son uh, lives in the East Village, and I've witnessed firsthand how the people, the, the leaders of, of Mag and David in Manhattan really provided such a great outreach to really call my son every week to ask him to come join him for dinner and I just think it's a wonderful wonderful place for for them to go. In the year 2000 a group of bold Syrian community members joined together to fill the vacuum in downtown Manhattan. They started with the Shabbat Minyan on the top floor of an Ashkenaz synagogue on 16th Street. In just 12 short years that Shabbat Minyan has expanded to provide daily Minyanim always available for those saying Kaddish, Torah classes, Shabbat meals, chesed activities, and of great importance, a safety net for our sons and daughters attending colleges in the area. Mag and David in Union Square has become an oasis in the desert. Over the last year, the calendar of Mag and David has been completely full. We do these Friday night series dinners called Safa in the City and to see 120 people show up singles for dinner just, just amazes me. And to know that four people have gotten married from these Friday night dinners, I know we're doing the right thing. We had in our last Shabbat dinner about 90 students from NYU, Baruch, FIT, Parsons, Cardoza, all show up and have an amazing meal. Tonight is Purim and we had a packed house. And you know, people kept telling me, well, why are you buying a new building? Why are you doing this? And I kept saying, I'm telling you, they're here. You don't know that they're here, and they're constantly here. What days do you come here? Shabbat, Shabbat Pesach, Hanukkah, Sukkot. We want to let everybody know that in response to so many people coming together and responding to the community and gravitating like a magnet downtown, a group of individuals has taken it upon themselves to purchase a new space for this community to continue its growth. What you see here is 900 square feet. What you will see in a few months from now, and next put in when you come join us, is almost 10,000 square feet. Wow. Space for us to continue to grow with our families and with our friends and all of the students who go to every university in this area. No longer do you have to look and say, where am I going to find my home, my Sephardic roots? No question. Look at 177 Sullivan. We'll be there. 
every morning I'm here. Every morning we have minyan, and, uh, and now I'm closing Shabbat, and I come in here Shabbat. It's a different feeling for me. All those that attend agree that the sense of community is truly one of the synagogue's most unique qualities. And the shul has become my family. My friends are here. My kids love coming here. Their their families here. Their best friends. And I, I'm just I I couldn't imagine going anyplace else. There's a wonderful sense of community here. Everyone, every day, we feel like one big family. <laughs> I love living downtown because Sisters. of the tight knit community. We all depend on each other and need each other because we are what hey, makes up like this community other. down here. And we're all so, we're like family. Our commitment is inspired by those who built the foundations of our community in America. Visionaries such as Isaac Shalom, Edmund Safra, Gabriel Shehebar, Sam Catton, and Joseph Beta, Zechonam Nebracha, have led the way. Mag and David is the place for its members to strengthen the fabric of our heritage and family traditions. I'm so happy and proud for my children that they have this. and. Um, it's an amazing moment in time for the Syrian community in Lower Manhattan. This was always my shul, and it, it was, I can honestly say, it was, it was the best part of living in the city, and it was, it was the hardest thing to leave when we moved to Brooklyn. We miss it now. I cannot imagine myself without this uh, synagogue right now. I think that this project is serious. It's a serious project. It's an important project, and it's one that I personally put on my top priority list when I look at the, the most important organizations to support um, you know within the community and outside as well. You know every day I just I'm touched you know I, I don't even know what to say anymore because it's just it's overwhelming what's been going on. We invite you to be a part of this growing legacy.